Today is the day we take one giant step towards repowering the Dragwar. The Dragwar is a 74 Jaguar XJ12. And I know I'm pronouncing the name wrong, but I don't care. This is America. We bought that car for a thousand bucks. It already had a small block Chevy in it, and we cut a big ass hole in the hood and bolted on a 671 Wyand supercharger. This is about to be the reason why we did all of this. Yeah! Dude, it does not get any more hot rod than that right there. The Dragwar is born. When you buy a car for $1,000 and bolt a supercharger onto a worn out engine that really wasn't maintained very well, bad things happen. Engines typically blow up, which is what we did. We overheated the small block that was in the Jaguar. Sorry, Jaguar. And uh, this is gonna be the replacement. This will be the redemption. We're at West Tech Performance here in Mira Loma, California, and we are about to dyno test our brand new engine. We've got a 383 cubic inch Ford short block for Blueprint engines. We're gonna dyno it here with an Edelbrock RPM air cap intake and a 750 CFM Holly HP carburetor. We're gonna get a good baseline in naturally aspirated form, then we're gonna slap our YN671 on it and try to make 700 horsepower at the crank. So let's get tame and average out of the way with this baseline pull and then go on to dumb and dangerous with the supercharger. Okay. <laughs> I bet this thing makes 450 in it. I think I'm going to say 456. 456? <laughs> I say 450, you say 456. We're going to tune this thing in fairly ideal conditions, which you're not going to have once it's in the car and the hood is shut. No, I agree. You know, and so no matter what, there's more tuning that has to happen once it's in the car, but at least when it leaves here, we know the engine is sound, you know, it's not hurting itself, and it's making really good power. The, the timing numbers that we find here, either normally aspirated or supercharged, are going to be very effective in the vehicle. Th those aren't going to change much. Well, it's up to temp. We're at, looks like 126 degrees, so let's give it a rip, see what she makes. messing around. Intake and carb is going to come off right now. We're going to put our blower on. Big power. Big power. Big power. What do you think about our parking lot installation prowess? That's what I want to know. Give me a professional opinion on that. I, I, I guess the first thing that comes to mind is unique. The Jaguar was unique. I, I, I was once told in, when I was in school that it was always more polite when you found someone very odd and strange to just say they're simply unique. It's go time. This is a Y in 671 supercharger. It's a root style blower topped off with twin holly carbs. We've added about 100 pounds of extra weight here with our aluminum lung, but we're hoping to add about 200 more horsepower. And that's gonna be the difference between having an ordinary Jaguar and a Dragwar. Yes, I said Dragwar on purpose. It's America, goddammit. at 6,000 RPM, and 
594 pound-feet of torque at about 4,200 RPM. So we've gained almost 200 horsepower right now. And the blower is actually underdriven right now in relation to crankshaft speed. We've got a big pulley on top on the blower and a smaller pulley down on the crankshaft of the engine. We're gonna up the boost with a smaller pulley and shoot for 700. All right, here's our issue right now. We don't have a set of pulleys to put on this thing to add just a little more boost. We only have a set of pulleys that will add a whole lot more boost. This long block is rated at about 600 horsepower. Well, we've already surpassed that by about 50. And although we want to make 700 horsepower on this thing, we're a little worried <laughs> that we can break something. So the question now is, do we swap the pulleys and up the boost to 17 pounds? Or do we quit while we're ahead and settle with a 650 horsepower small block? Well, it looks like Steve's made the decision for us. He's already got the pulley swapped. <laughs> like I said a minute ago, this is where I disclaim all responsibility. <laughs> ah, what could go wrong? Well, I don't know. I could think of about eight or ten things, but we're going to have to make sure we've got good fuel in it. We'll pull the timing back a little bit and uh, just try to be very cautious on some of our first initial numbers, making sure we're not getting silly with the thing. Let me sum up the situation for you here. First, we bolted this blower onto a long block that didn't deserve it, killed that motor. Now, we bolted it onto a really great long block that's only rated at 600 horsepower, and we're already making 650. Now we've swapped pulleys, we're almost gonna double the boost. I don't know if this is a good idea, <laughs> but we're gonna try it anyway. So we just swapped the pulleys, picked up five more pounds of boost, but we only gained about 20 horsepower, which means that we either pulled too much ignition timing out and killed some of the power, or that blower is just pumping hot air into the engine now that we're spinning it so fast. We're gonna put one more degree of ignition timing back in and try another pull. horsepower at 6,000 RPM with a little more ignition advance. Now we're going to work on the fueling. We're going to pull some jet out of this thing and try and lean it up a little bit, make it a little more efficient, and hopefully make some more horsepower. Over 690. Ah, 696. Well, on the bright side of things, the Dragwar will have almost double the horsepower it's ever had between the fenders, and no problem at all making tire smoke. Hooray! <laughs> so what did we learn today? Boost is a good thing, and now that we're gonna have 240 more horsepower in the Dragwar, it's sure to go quicker than the 1530 it put up at Sacktown a few months ago. We won't hesitate to put this engine back in the car, so stay tuned to the Motor Trend channel for more misadventures with the Dragwar. Get some, yeah! <laughs> I wonder if this thing would run on 87 octane in an NA form. Probably go find out. I don't even know what this is. Is this a 383? <laughs> I think it is a 383. <laughs> I didn't buy it. I have no idea. <laughs> you know what? I'm pretty sure it's a 383. I believe that's the part that's not on That's the part where I reveal that I prepped this much for this episode. Yeah. <laughs> wow. 
just shot off. Time for a new set of bolts.